breakfast. It's Friday! Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the 15th of December. Woo. I'm Denise Van Alton and this is Johnny Ford. Hello there. I hope you're having a good morning. I am. Uh, still to come on this morning's show. I, I, I can't get that story short. <laughs> okay, coming up in just a couple of minutes, we've got our paper review, and of course, it's time for the pun of the week. Yes! Yay. It's Friday. What are you laughing at? Uh, just... Linda just told me a story that's. Uh, just before, I, I can't. What's at happening at 8.20? meet a very tricky customer. Rude. Uh, prestidigitator extraordinaire, Paul Zeller, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Thanks, Paul. That's lovely. <laughs> Uh, what's happening at 8.30, Denise? Uh, la, 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 la. At 8.30, we show you how to get a day's Christmas shopping done without even lifting a finger in window shopping with Kirsty yes. Drury. It's Kirsty doing that. OK, and then we've got It Girl, Lady Victoria Harvey, who'll be taking your calls this morning oh, about oh, all oh. things <laughs> posh. Uh, and our really? other class act, uh, Richard Bacon, who has had a major result, won a few quid off me, uh, which will go to a charity we both choose, obviously. <laughs> of course, oh, come on, talk to me about charity. Oh, what, what, the pub kitty? It, well, well it, it's a, it might be, we might put it in the whip. Uh, but right now, I think we can go to Jasmine Lowson. She's got some news and weather for us. Here's Jasmine. Hey. Hi, hi. Good morning. These are the main stories on Friday, the 15th of December. Rio helps the hunt for Damalola's killers. Chernobyl's glowing future and M&M's with Kim again. Four youths are being questioned about the murder of Damalola Taylor. 200 police raided a number of homes in Peckham, South London. Footballer Rio Ferdinand's been helping in the appeal for information, promoting cars with a list of numbers, which can be called in complete confidence. Go and find one of these, and if you know anything, definitely phone up and, and let them know what's happening. Tory leader William Haig has outraged the parents of murdered teenager Stephen Lawrence. Haig was accused of playing the race card after blaming the collapse of police morale on a report into the death of Stephen Lawrence. He also quoted false crime figures to back his claim. Fourteen years after one of the world's worst nuclear accidents, Chernobyl's last nuclear reactor will be shut down. Radiation has been blamed for thousands of deaths, illnesses and birth defects since then. A new swear-free version of hit film Billy Elliot will be released. Cleanup means producers are removing 35 offending words. Apparently, parents were annoyed they couldn't take younger offspring to see the flick. It's reported bad boy rapper Eminem is getting back together with his estranged wife, Kim. The pair split up last summer after an alleged pistol whipping incident. Let's hope it's a happier ending than the one in his latest video. Here's the sport. West Ham have failed in a £10 million bid to bring Inter Milan's Robbie Keane to Upton Park. The Irish striker has insisted he wishes to stick it out at the San Siro, despite struggling to make the first team since his move last summer. Brazilian midfielder Edu is finally about to have his Portuguese passport legalised, paving the way for his delayed move to Arsenal. Meanwhile, Gunners boss Arsene Wenger has fined his record signing Sylvain Wiltor for regularly turning up late for training. That's the Food Breakfast News. Simon's at the house with the weather.